This is Homer Walker's very old bushel basket of corn. Oh, it was picked around Labor Day, but it originated hundreds of years ago. It's Indian corn, the kind the American Indians were growing when the pilgrims came to the New World. Yeah, you're controlling the color here? Oh, no, now, ain't no way to control the color. You don't ever know what you got until you open the shulk up. But, uh, of course, that's just Mother Nature at work. About this time of year, the folks down at the farmer's market sell bushels of the Indian corn to people wanting to decorate in the colors of the season. The Indian corn is definitely colorful. Now, can you eat this stuff? Oh, yeah. It'd it eat just as good as any of it. It'd uh, it, it look a little weird if you eat it when it's roast near, but it, it'll eat. <laughs> You'd end up with red teeth or something, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> If you're looking for color, Homer says gourds are a good place to look. Like Indian corn, autumn is their big season. How long, how long does it take you to paint these things? <laughs> you just like to stay up all night? That's, that's some of Mother Nature's painting. <laughs> she does a pretty good job. Right? Yeah, better than any of us can do. Yeah, if you want to be smart in the way of gourds, Homer can help. There are hmm. bottle gourds and spoon gourds and Did nest you know egg gourds. That's Back when people had chickens, they take and put uh, put their nest egg gourds in in, under, in in the nest, and where they could take all the eggs out. No hen keep laying there. And she didn't know the difference. She have a food as long as they keep her food. Well, she wouldn't. <laughs> the farmers didn't have much luck using these gourds. Oh yeah, there's one more gourd we haven't talked about. The biggest gourd of them all. The one that's about to make its annual debut. This is Dick Curtis at large down at the farmer's market. Let's see, I'll put an eye here, a nose there, got a mouth there, another eye over there. 